This is Andy Perrault for ID Boxing. We are here in Jeddah and I'm joined by Sky Sports' Adam Smith. Adam, straight into it. We've just witnessed the weighing for Usyk Joshua too. What did you make of a pair of them on the scales? I thought they both looked in impeccable condition, Andy. Fabulous. They're elite athletes. They're at the top of world boxing and they looked terrific. Um, a lot of people were saying Alexander would come in heavier. Those are the rumours. Um, I had a little bit of inside information, Andy, so I knew he was coming in a, at 100 kilograms. Um, they're happy with him. They think he's very strong. It's not about the weight. They've worked on the strength in this, in this camp. Uh, remember, he was on the front line in the Ukraine. He lost weight. So they've worked on um, you know, the power, I think, and, and the strength rather than just putting on just more weight to be a bigger heavyweight. Uh, as for AJ, four pounds, four and a half pounds heavier than he was uh, for Tottenham. Um, what do I read into that? Not much. I mean, AJ's always been best around about 17 and a half stone, maybe slightly lighter, but they're going for aggression. They're going for punch power. They're going for... You know, anything they can do to back Usyk up, put him in corners, put him in uncomfortable positions. They've got to try and work the body. That's going to be hard with Usyk, but that's got to be the tactics. Punches in bunches, combinations, but cleverly. Because if they do it gung-ho, there's the fast fists of the southpaw, who is just an elite craftsman. And Alexander Usyk had the answers in Tottenham, and he may just have all the answers again tomorrow night. I think... Andy, it's all about the beginning of the fight. It's all about those first couple of rounds. If Usyk can get centre ring, hurt Joshua, get into a rhythm, it's going to be mighty tough for the Brit. However, if AJ can get early success, maybe get one or two punches to get through, a couple of body shots, something, hurt Usyk, just, just trouble him a bit, knock off a couple of two or three of the rounds, that could be a completely different dynamic. AJ, very good on top when he's in control. So it's a fascinating one, and it's one that, Usyk starts the worthy favourite for, but I think Usyk starts in round 13. AJ starts in round one. That's the difference. Speaking to Matt Macklin earlier, he said that he felt AJ maybe looked a little nervous. Did you get that viable sense off of him? I think that's good. I think nerves provide adrenaline. I think he knows it's all on the line. He's a winner. You play chess against him, trust me, he's a winner. He wants to win. If he doesn't win, he's not happy. He didn't win at Tottenham. He didn't win in the Garden. He wasn't happy. You know, he, he's competitive. He didn't want to take little matches in between going straight back into the fire against Andy Ruiz, straight back into the, into the bigger fire, the hotter kitchen against Alexander Rusik. You've got to take your hat off to, to AJ. He's competitive to the core. He wants to try try his best against all of these guys. And of course, everything's on the line for him. He's an underdog for the first time in his life. I think that nerves are a good thing for AJ. I've spoken to a lot of people around him, very close to him this week. They say he's, he's just driven. He's driven in a way, they know what they've got to do. You know, Angel Fernandez and Robert Garcia will have cooked up the game plan. It's up to him to now go and execute it. I like the fact that he's nervous at this stage. He'll be nice and calm. The switch will happen tomorrow. And I think we'll just get an almighty battle. I think it will be a more entertaining fight than it was at Tottenham. I think there's more on the line. I think AJ has to commit. He has to take risks. And with that will become some thunderous action. I don't think this is going the distance tomorrow. Just one final one on that main event. What have you made of maybe some people have suggested AJ is maybe a little gun shy now or his mentality maybe isn't what it needs to be in terms of that that ambition when he's in the ring to be more aggressive, to try and push back Usyk, what do you make of those comments? I've heard that, people saying he's been gun-shy since, since Klitschko or Ruiz, and, and I don't know, look, ultimately, look against, look against Pulev, you know, when he, when he needed to, he just took, took it up a notch and bang, got the guy out of there. I mean, he didn't look gun-shy that night, did he? I think he's, he's a fighter. He's going to get hit. I think he's got a good chin. I think he's, you know, he's... It, it's about mentally and psychologically with AJ. I think that if he believes, he'll believe he can win this beforehand. If after two, three rounds, he, can, he still believes he can get this job done, then I think that he will, that won't come into it. I think that he cannot be in any way gun shy going into this fight. That's for certain. But I'm not sure if he is. I think he's a fighter. And ultimately, he's probably thought, oh, maybe I can make it easier. Look what Lennox Lewis did, you know, towards the sort of back end of his career under Manny Stewart. He took his time when he let the punches go against your Galotic, against your Tysons, when he knew he could, he finished them. But he did against the David Tours and the Dangerous Ones. He just nullified and nullified. And I think Joshua got caught a little bit betwixt and between with that. 
when he was fighting Joe Parker, you know, he, maybe he wanted to prove he could go the distance. I don't know. He just has to be absolutely sure of what he's doing tomorrow night. And from everything around him, I think he is. I think he's going to go in there with this game plan. And uh, I don't think that will come into it. I think it's all about whether he gets a great start and he gets some success and he gets some momentum. Because if he doesn't, I think Alexander is such an intelligent inside the ring athlete and also outside the ring. Psychologically, he's going to try and chip away at AJ and make him think back to Tottenham. And that's when it will get tough for him. Adam, the fight obviously being shown live on Sky Sports Box Office, what would be your prediction in terms of pay-per-view boys? I'm not sure, Andy. I hope they're good. I hope they're very good. I think it's a bigger fight than uh, last time. Obviously, we've had a very short window to, to build it up, to promote it. Um, I urge everyone to watch it. I think it's a bigger, uh, more entertaining, more exciting, more intriguing uh, battle than it was at Tottenham because I think most people thought AJ would win and win fairly comfortably. Um, AJ's career to some extent is on the line. Doesn't mean he's not going to go on and, and do some really great things afterwards if he loses. Of course, there's a great heavyweight division out there. Uh, some fantastic fights going on. The Parker Joyce, the you know Dan, uh, Deontay Wilder coming back against Hellenius. No doubt we'll have Dillian White soon, Daniel Dubois. There's loads out there. So there's plenty of, uh, of, of options for both of them. Uh, should they lose tomorrow night. But I think it's all about this night, and I think it's the biggest fight of Anthony Joshua's career and life tomorrow. So I think everybody in Britain should tune in. I think it's a, a fantastic story that Oleksandr Rusik is re representing the Ukraine. Um, I'm hopeful that the numbers will be good. It's August the 20th. You know, some people are still on holiday, but the Premier League helps. People are back enjoying that the Arsenal match beforehand, and uh, I hope we'll see some good business. But ultimately, it's about the fight, and uh, all I want is a great fight, and uh, that's what we're here for. We were very pleased to win the, the rights, and uh, we want to give our Sky customers the best heavyweight fights, as we have been doing for the last 25, 30 years. And this is going to be another. This is going to be another chapter in the pantheon of heavyweight fights and heavyweight history, and you can't tell me how it's going to go, and I can't tell you. Um, aren't we excited? I'm not sure you'll sleep tonight. But it's, uh, it's butterflies all around, not just for AJ. Adam, what's the relationship been like with Matchroom and with Eddie this week? Fantastic. I got here, here Wednesday night. Uh, I've seen Barry and Eddie and Frank and uh, brilliant. You know, I, uh, I, I, I adore them. People know what my feelings are about, about the, the Hearns and Matchroom. And I love working with all the group, seeing you know, all the guys from you know, Darren to Scott to Ross. It's, it's been brilliant. Just because we're sort of divorced doesn't mean that we can't work together on a promotion. Um, yes, we're the other side of the fence. Yes, I work with Ben Shalom and I'm loving it and I'm loving Boxer and they're a fantastic, terrific young promotional outfit who've done brilliantly in the year we've been working together. And there's terrific stuff to come. September 3rd in Liverpool, Liam Smith, Tasha Jonas, Fraser back, Adam back. Then the week after, the, 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 the major night, September the 10th with Clarissa and Savannah and Alicia trying to get Michaela my Michaela my she's brilliant isn't she she's been over here Michaela and Alicia that's working with Matchroom again by the way as well working with top rank two it's fantastic everyone coming together for a wonderful night for women's sport pivotal night I think September the 10th we've got huge fights going on for us big plans for boxer and top rank brilliant and he's got his own plans to design there's loads of fights he's got Canelo coming up they've got Ben Eubank brilliant BT are having a great time with Frank I mean look at the stuff they're putting on at the moment Everyone's enjoying it. Wasserman Channel 5. Great news for fans. Better news even for fighters who are getting a lot of money and it's a great time for them. So, it's all harmonious. I'll see them at the gala dinner tonight, Eddie and Barry and Frank. Remember, I still work on the darts, Andy, so I see Matt Porter all the time. You know, Matchroom and Sky have had a great relationship for many years. Just because we're sit the other side of the fence in boxing now, you know, Eddie can say what he wants and react to Johnny and all that. But it's great. No problems. So you don't believe Johnny would beat Alexander Usyk if he fought him in his prime? Do you know what? He's even had a go at me this week, hasn't he? I mean, he's meant to be my best friend. What's going on here? He's saying I've never put the gloves on, so I don't have an opinion. I, do you know what? I, sit, I sat there with Carl Froch telling him that Joe Calzaghe would lick him. He, he, he'd beat him up. And Carl said, you can't say that to me. I said, well, OK, I haven't put the gloves on, but I can say it to you because that's what I believe. Do I believe that Carl Froch beats huge amounts of other people? Of course. So I think Carl Froch is a legend of British boxing. Absolutely. Would he have beaten Joe Calzaghe? In my opinion, no. Do I think Johnny Nelson, what he did in boxing, is almost unparalleled. 10 out of 13 amateur losses, three professional defeats, freezing against De Leon, freezing against Waring, going around the world. Re, re, you know, in exile, no one cared about him. Came back, 33 fights, unbeaten, world cruiserweight champion, seven and a half years, phenomenal. 
Do I think that Johnny Nelson now has any chance against Oleksandr Usyk? No. Do I think Johnny Nelson had any chance five years ago when he was thinking about fighting Marco Hook, ridiculously thinking about fighting Marco Hook? No. Maybe it was six, seven years ago. No. I don't think Johnny Nelson would have beaten Oleksandr Usyk. Would Johnny Nelson at his peak against Oleksandr Usyk at his peak at cruiserweight be a good fight? Not sure the styles will, will mesh too well. Would it be competitive? Absolutely. Do I think Johnny would win? I'm not sure. I think Oleksandr Usyk um, would probably beat Johnny at his peak, but it's not definitive and it will never happen. So we don't know. It's one of those that we can all sort of think about. I'm not sure it would be the most exciting fight. Johnny would, of course, back himself. Oleksandr would back himself. Um, I think Oleksandr Usyk is a very, very special fighter. 335 wins in 350 amateur bouts, unbeaten in the cruiserweight world and the heavyweight world. Maybe not tomorrow, but he's unbeaten so far. And maybe he'll go on and, and, and do that. Um, Johnny had a very different career. He lost a number of times. So um, on his day, Johnny could be brilliant. Um, what was brilliant about Johnny is the career he had and the career he's had since. He's a wonderful member of, of the Sky team. He was a fantastic advert for boxing, for someone who couldn't fight when he started and where he got to. But I think Alexander Rusik has been a natural fighter and has always been able to fight. So, um, so yeah, I, I'll, I'll stick with what I think and I'll take the heat from Johnny. My bestie. Final one, Adam. Uh, John Wilder announcing his ring returning as Roberto, uh, Roberto, Robert Hellanius. I was getting Roberto Duran yeah, stuck in my head there. Duran, it was yeah. indeed. Um, but yeah, just your thoughts on Wilder Hellanius. Great to see Duran and Holyfield here, isn't it? Um, fantastic to have the bronze bomber back with us. Um, really pleased. I saw Shelley Finkel on a recent trip to, to America. I said, come on, we need Deontay back. He said, yeah, Adam, he needs a bit more time with the family. He likes his scuba diving. I said, come on, we want Deontay back. Um, I think I was probably, as soon as I heard it, I was probably the first to message Deontay. Absolutely delighted. I think he's great. He's, charis he's, he's charisma on a stick. The personality, the bronze bomber, love it. The punch power. We need Deontay Wilder still in the heavyweight world. It's fantastic to have him back. There's so many fights out there for him. Love to see AJ. Love to see Dillian White fight him. So many. I'd love to see Usyk fight him. If Usyk doesn't win tomorrow night, maybe that's a fight for Usyk. There's so much in the heavyweight world. I'm sure Joe Joyce would like a crack at him. Daniel Dubois. Come on. So many good fights to be made. Absolutely delighted to have Deontay Wilder back. He's back, the bronze bomber. Adam, it's a pleasure as always. Thanks for beating me in ID Boxing. Cheers, Andy. Take care. Cheers, Adam.